Finally, I trained a coherently speaking LLM that actually makes sense when it's talking. And it's actually, I just trained it for like $1 or less. And it has potential to have a lot longer sequences because I have a lot of attention heads and mamba heads. And it generates instantly. So let's check it. After we check in the rest of the video, I will show you how I did it. It's like a vlog of what I did. Let's test the model I trained on 8 GPUs. I said the future of AI is... No exception. <laughs> in this chapter, we have learned about the remarkable array of plants and their significance in both the region and the world. We have seen how their complex nature shapes. Yo, it actually, it's so coherent. It's so coherent. So next time you find yourself gazing out onto the bustling garden and gazing at the stunning displays of plants and animals, remember that there might be some hidden links between you and the plant. Yo, this language model is so good. What? It's so good. And generation is pretty fast. It's almost instant because of all of my mamba heads. If I say the thing I love about nature is, you see, it's instant because of its simplicity and value. We need to add water and nutrition to every living thing in our environment so we can enjoy nature. So it knows more about nature and stuff because the training data is about nature. I think it doesn't know about AI because I didn't train it on AI, but data, but this is a I, this is so coherent language model. It's so fast, it's so coherent. Write a story about goblins and goblins and instantly generates this. I just had a bit of training data, so he doesn't know about goblins, probably never heard of goblins, but this is very promising path. We can now just scale and make it faster, better, more efficient. This is series, the playlist. If you go to the playlists or the link below, you have a playlist of my project. So I'm building Infinite Reasoning LLM. It's Mamba Plus Transformer architecture is based on paper by NVIDIA. So this paper, they have a lot of Mamba heads and a few attention heads. They get a bunch of layers here. I'm gonna implement this and do research and try to make it better and better. So this can generate a lot more tokens with a lot less memory and it can generate a lot faster. So this can this has potential to reason a lot longer, a lot faster, a lot better. Sam Altman said that the dream is like a trillion token reasoning or something. So it is possible. It's gonna be either this or something uh, around this, but we need to understand how this works. So then we can invent the next architecture. But even this one, it's gonna have a lot of reasoning now. Check the link below for the full playlist and let's continue with the video where I was vlogging how I uh, build this, how I scale this model in this episode. I finished experimenting 12 different architectures for the infinite reasoning, infinite context LLM. Uh, this experiment lasted for a few hours. This is at the beginning, the small size LLMs. And then I'm going to take this experiment and now pick the best ones and scale it up and try to understand better. It's part of my research that I have in this playlist. You can find link to the playlist in the description. So each of these letters is one layer in my language model. And if it's A, it's attention and feet forward. Or if it's M, then it's mamba and feet forward uh, together in a single layer. So I filter documents in uh, weights and biases and I'm just gonna export this data, save as CSV. So I just did a prompt to GPT-5 in this case to read this CSV, read experiments, set up everything and just write a report. This is our uh, report. This study evaluates hybrid LLM blocks that interleave attention and SSM state space models or Mamba layers. So we have these patterns, attention, Mamba, attention, Mamba, etc. Usually 24 to 26 million parameters. So this just explains uh, the setup. You can check, but it's less important. And alternating architectures work better than these grouped architectures. So in this case, our winner is double alternate, but it has 10 layers, so it has more parameters. So, and then Fibonacci is also alternating and it has nine layers. So in this case, he, it won. Uh, and then this could actually be best, but we need to do more experimenting because I accidentally forgot to change uh, I wanted to put same amount of parameters here. Memory usage on GPU peaks around 9.3 gigabytes, 
but we have 24 gigabytes on our GPU, so we underutilized it. I need to increase batch size next time, and that will train faster as well. We can also see that Mamba runs for a lot longer than Attention, probably because Attention is more parallelizable, or our implementation on Mamba is not so efficient, but it's okay for now. Good idea by Opus is we should test now more deep, uh, more of these deeper versions. Block size variants. Now, I think he didn't notice that alternating letters work best. It also wants me to do a small routing network that would, I suppose, choose between Mamba and uh, SSM. But I don't want to do this. There is no proof that this is uh, better or to even believe that that could be better. Maybe later at a later point. It's just more complex for now. Now I said to Claude Sonnet, I want eight new experiments. Uh, based it on the best experiments in this run, just scale it to 30,000 steps instead of 10,000. Load more data accordingly. One of them must be MA and then all of the M's because this is the NVIDIA's new language model. Uh, make others alternating and similar or similar to alternating and similar to alternating. Uh, try a bit different versions. So guys, now I just scale the training. I have a lot bigger model, 16 layers, and I have 30,000 steps. I'm running this on two GPUs, 1490, but it's gonna take five hours. So I wanna try eight GPUs. Novita actually has even Blackwell 200, the latest GPU everybody wants, 192 gigabytes of RAM. Look, H100 has 80, and it's 50% off here. If you just... Uh, if you just go and select spot billing here. So I'm gonna be using these, but not now. I don't need them now. Now I'm using these late uh, smallest ones just to try to do parallel training going on. I'll just take eight times 1490 right now. So they just released this Nem Nemotro Nano 2, which is actually LLM that has hybrid Mamba and attention that I'm also trying to build. So I can read this now. So the main reason to train with Mamba is for inference, very long inference, sequence length, long thinking traces needed for reasoning. 20 trillion tokens, that's a lot. Like if I can do 1 billion, that's a lot for me, but they do 20 trillion. We will have to come up with optimizations because this is uh, too much compute, it will be too expensive for me. So if you want 8 times 1490 on Novita, you need to change your template to PyTorch 2.6 you see for just two i'm using 2.7 but doesn't work for some reason so i changed to 2.6 here when you're choosing just choose this template i'm just going to run this architecture attention mamba attention mamba all on eight gpus so each of these is one layer and then there is feed forward after each one so attention feed forward is one layer then mamba feed forward is one layer these are our hyperparameters. So now model size is 1024, a lot bigger. Hidden dimension. Number lay is 16, number of heads 16. These are attention heads. This is quite big because usually I think uh, Quen and other models have like 32. So this is getting close to the big models. And then states 48, intermediate size 1096 should be, should be four times this one. This is a feed forward interme intermediate size, vocabulary, and the sequence length. We need to increase this, by the way. This model has 136 million parameters. I'm running this one on two GPUs. This was previously done. And you see how the loss is going down. I think uh, validation loss is also going down. So this is also bigger models. So it's just going well. Look at my GPU setup. I don't know why 2, 6, and 8 uh, don't have any work in them. Okay, it looks like all of them are working hard and their memory is quite... Uh, it's 78%. We can optimize more, but this is good as well. So this is still the 2 GPU. I just like seeing how close together training loss and validation loss are. 3.1 both. So now I'm running eight GPUs. Here we're gonna take 3,075 steps. Uh, so it's gonna take just 42 minutes. 
we have data parallel with PyTorch distributed data parallel and distributed sampler. So each of the eight GPUs has its own copy of the model and gets data. And then at the end, they all combine their gradients and average gradients and then update each model with the average with the new gradients. So it's all in sync. Our batch size is 256 effective batch size because we got 16 batch size per one GPU, eight GPUs and two gradient accumulation. So 256, which is good batch size. Make sure to increase your learning rate when you increase your batch size. And so if originally I have 30,000 30, steps, I divide to eight GPUs, then we have 3,705 steps for each GPU eight times faster. So with this NVIDIA's model, you can uh, fit 128 thousand tokens on 22 gigabytes of memory in bflow 16 so fp4 can fit like 600,000 tokens almost because it's linear scaling or almost linear that's crazy that we're gonna get to million tokens on a single gpu soon they got 62 layers and model dimension 520 so we can use uh, our age 100s that are cheaper on Novita for these. This can easily fit. Uh, this will just take maybe 20 to 30 gigabytes. And we can actually reproduce this paper, to be honest, and do experiments with it. Now it's so possible for us to do it. They got 62 layers, while I got 16 here. And they got six times attention, which is actually, it makes sense. They minimize it, I think. I wonder which ablations they did because I found that alternating attention in Mamba gives best results, but maybe this is like the most optimal one. Their feed forward is four times bigger than mine. Usually everything is around four to five times bigger. Eight GPUs and two GPUs are kind of converging to the same loss. Now that I know my experiment works, I think I'm just gonna optimize my code I'm gonna use FPA training described in this paper and this is by DeepSeek and it's gonna train faster. I'm gonna end this video now because I just got my eight times uh, GPUs working and producing coherent LLM like I showed you in the beginning of the video. So in the next video, I'm gonna do FPA optimization or some other things or data or something, I'm not sure yet. So let's end it here and then check the playlist below in the description and check the next video. See you next time.